boxing. Uh, a lot of people pick their opponents and want to be careful to make yourself look good. Nah, I'm in here to fight the best. You want to fight the best? You got to be the best. <laughs> what the fuck, guys? What in the hell, man? This shit is crazy, man. You know, I, I thought John Molina was a cherry pick. Well, goddamn, Danny Garcia. Goddamn. You surprised the hell out of me, boy. And it's not even like Danny Garcia is a bad fighter, man. He is a really, really good fighter. He has good skills. This is why people are mad that he's choosing to fight these type of quality opponents. Like Samuel Vargas, man. Who is this guy? Like, nobody knows this guy. He's just an opponent. Like, literally, he's a, an opponent. Like, you look at Canelo when he fought Liam Smith. Yeah, Canelo took some backlash, but it wasn't like this, you know. Because at least... You know, so a lot of some, a lot of boxers. You know, a lot of, a lot of trainers. They knew Leon Smith. They knew they, they thought he was a good fighter. You know, and so some people were actually on the inside. Some people were saying that Leon Smith could give Canelo some work. But I mean, as soon as this fight was announced, everybody, and I mean everybody, Errol Spence, Keith Thurman, even John Molina, the guy he was supposed to fight, well, the guy that we're in talks with, came out. And roasted this motherfucker. So it's like, dude, everybody knows that you, this guy's a clear cut cherry pick. Clear cut. Like, there's no, there's no ifs, ands, buts about it. Clear cut. And it's not even like you're protecting yourself. You're not really protecting yourself. And if anything, you're doing harm to yourself. Think about it like this: you're in a, you're in a, you're in a division where the world is stacked. The welterweight division is stacked. You got heavy competition, so you need to be in there with some good quality opponents to get ready for that good competition. You know, think of it like, you know, like a test. Like, you know, you, you, you got a math test coming up. If you ain't doing the homework and if you ain't doing studying, you're going to get, you're going to flunk that test. The same thing we're here. You know, eventually you're going to have to fight Keith Thurman's. You're going to have to fight the Arrow Spences. So if you're fighting some bum ass boys, what do you expect you're going to do when you fight a, a good quality or well, a, amazing competition that's going to, you know, pose a threat to you? What's going to happen to Danny Garcia when he fights a Keith Thurman? A Sean Porter. We know we don't know. Cause you know, he keeps fighting these bums and you know he's 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 not he's not fighting twelve round fights. He's you know, so we don't know what's gonna happen if he, if they take him to deep waters. So we're just gonna have to see what he does, man. Keith Thurman, quit fucking cherry picking. Don't duck me, son. Don't duck me, son. But I mean it's whatever. So you guys just take time to subscribe. This is Boxing Guru, and I'm going to fucking sleep. Good night.